In this video, we will see what is a Maven build life cycle. Let us start. Understanding Maven build life cycle is very important when we work with Maven. So, Maven build life cycle is a set of stages which will be executed in sequence to complete a specified Maven build. When we have a project and when we are executing the build on the project using the form.xml, we can specify the Maven commands in two ways. Either we can specify MVN and corresponding phase name or MVN corresponding plugin the goal name. So when we provide MVN and the phase name, so based on the phase name, it will invoke corresponding life cycle. For example, Maven has three built-in life cycles. One is default life cycle, clean life cycle and site life cycle. Default life cycle will be used for installing or deploying the project. Clean life cycle will be used for cleaning the project resources and site life cycle will be used to make a Maven based website for the project. So when I specify MVN clean, then corresponding clean life cycle will be invoked and the phases in the clean life cycle will be executed in sequence. Similarly, when I execute Maven install command, the default life cycle will be invoked and all the phases of this default life cycle will be executed in sequence. And for example, if I provide Maven install command and default life cycle will be invoked, and the phases up to this install phase will be executed in sequence. That means the validate phase will be executed, compile phase will be executed, test, package, verify and install. All these phases up to the install phase will be executed in sequence to perform the build. Similarly, if I give MVN deploy, then all the phases from validate to deploy will be executed in sequence. So this way, Maven will execute the phases in sequence to complete a Maven build and while executing these phases, in each phase it will invoke a corresponding plugin of Maven. For example, if you take compile phase, it will invoke Maven compiler plugin and this plugin has many goals and it will execute one or more goals of that plugin. Similarly, for test phase, it will invoke Maven shoot type plugin and in package phase, it will invoke Maven jar plugin if the type of the combat XML is jar. So if our project is producing a war file, so this will invoke Maven war plugin. Similarly for enterprise Java beans, it will invoke EJB plugin, etc. And in verify phase, it will invoke Maven shoot file plugin to execute our integration tests, etc. Same way in the install and deploy, it will invoke Maven install plugin and deploy plugin respectively. So in addition to specifying the phases, we also can specify a particular goal of a particular plugin. For example, if I have the artifact already, if I don't want to build the artifact again, and if I want to install that artifact to my local repository, I can directly specify MVN install install file. So that means I am directly specifying the install file code of Maven install plugin. So that task will be executed directly without executing any of the phases before that. From this, we have to remember that Maven lifecycle is a set of phases which will be executed in sequence to perform a particular build. And in each phase, it will invoke corresponding plugin and the plugin will execute corresponding goal to perform a particular task. Let us see some of these commands uh, in the hands on session. Here I have an example project. You can see the contents of this project. Here we have home.xml and src main java. Under that, hello.java is there. So this is a sample java based project. Let us see the form.xml content. This has group id, artifact id, and version. Uh, here I did not specify any packaging type, so by default it will be jar as a packaging and these are the properties of the Maven compiler plugin. So this also has the dependency of JUnit. Now I will use this project uh, for explaining this Maven lifecycle concept. So we can execute Maven commands using two ways. In the first way we will invoke the phase directly using MVN. We can also provide some other options. For this example I am not providing any options. Uh, if I execute this, so now from the output we can see that what are all the phases it is executing. From the output we can see that different phases are being executed in sequence to complete this. For example, we can see here default resources phase is executed and after that compile phase is executed, test resources is executed, test compile, test and jar and install. So these are all the phases corresponding to the default type cycle for this type of jar project. So in addition to the phases, we also can see what are all the plugins and what are the goals 
are invoked. For example, in the deep world resources phase, it is invoking Maven resources plugin and the resources code. So this resources code of this plugin is executed as part of this default resource. Similarly, in the compile phase, it has invoked the Maven compiler plugin and it has executed the code, compile code. Similarly, for other phases, it has invoked corresponding plugins and the plugin is executing corresponding goals. So this way, Maven uses the lifecycle concept to complete a specified uh, build or complete a specified task. So for example, I don't want to do all these things. I just want to compile my application. So for that, I can specify Maven compile. So now all the phases up to this compile should be executed in sequence. Let us see that. We can see from the output, only the default resources and compile are executed. So this way, uh, we can specify a particular phase to be executed in Maven using the lifecycle concept. So previously, I have also specified that for each phase, it will invoke a particular plugin. So that also we can see from the Maven command. So for example, I want to find which plugin is being used for package phase of this project. So for that, I can use an MVN command and I have to use L plugin. So for this, I can use the describe goal of this L plugin and I have to specify the parameter, the command is, so that we need to specify. And we provide like this, it will say that package is a phase corresponding to this plugin. So that means this plugin will be invoked and this rule will be invoked. So this way we can find which plugin is used in which phase for a particular project. We can also find what are all the goals attached to a particular plugin. So for that we have to use help goal of a particular plugin. For example, if I specify MVN compiler and help, now it will provide us all the goals of this compiler plugin. So let us try to find it. So we can see that it has three goals, compiler compile and help as well as test compile. And we can also customize uh, the life cycle such that we can, we can mention that uh, a particular plugin to be executed in a particular phase. So, for example, if you have a like custom plugin and if you want to execute on a particular phase of a life cycle, we can mention uh, in the build section of the form.xml. So, those things we will see in the coming videos. Uh, I think in this video, uh, we have understood what is a Babel life cycle and how the life cycle phases are executed in sequence. And we also have seen in each phase of the life cycle, a corresponding goals of particular Maven plugins will be invoked. I think uh, this video is useful to you. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching.